Hi everybody, it's Andy from James Mean. Um, guidance I often get asked for is how to help pitch your offer on a property that you like the look of. So more commonly than not, it's with my clients, my uh, my vendors that we've agreed sales on, um, and they've been out there and they've seen properties with other agents or in other areas that they like and they'd like to purchase. Um, the best driving force I think for this and the best thing to give you your steer on the seller's motivations is probably around how long it's been on the market for. Uh, you know, if something's literally just gone onto the market, then the chances are they're going to be in a bullish frame of mind where they're not really going to accept lower offers or, or they're certainly not going to be open to considering them. Um, if something's been on for sort of two, three, four weeks, then maybe they'll start just to be turning into thinking about offers, maybe being a little bit lower. Um, and you can be a little bit more suggestive with your initial offer price. Um, and then obviously I think, you know, if something's been on for two, three, four months plus in this market, that's probably a good indicator that potentially the price is too high. And you would have thought that the agents would be having a chat with that owner or would be chatting behind the scenes with that owner about pricing and whether they need to drop the asking price. So in those kind of situations, you can maybe be a little bit more bullish and a little bit more cheeky with your first offer to see where the conversation gets you. Um, a great question, which I've said before in these videos, and I've always asked myself in this situation is, you know, what if that agent tells me tomorrow that they've sold it to someone else? How would you feel about it? And I think often that answer often determines your motivation and how much you really want it and what it means to you. Um, and that can be a great factor as well and a great driving force in your, your decision-making process. So if you need any help or guidance, do get in touch. Andy at James Neve, 01932 221331 or Andy at jamesneve.co.uk. Thank you.